students welcome to the next video in this particular video we will be discussing the greek chamber its uh, component and the design these are the different contents that we are going to discuss in this video introduction to greek chamber types of greek chamber design of greek chambers and cleaning and disposal of greek let us discuss the component and the significance of the great chamber as in the previous video we have discussed about the unit operations and unit processes in that we had a discussion over the great chamber as we know the great chamber is used for removing the great or we can say sand and great particle or the particle heavier than water so the entire operation is contained the physical separation of the particle or the impurities present in the waste water so the grit chamber is included in the preliminary treatment process operations grit chamber is usually the second unit operation and is a long narrow tank that are designed to slow down the flow for remove of grit from the waste water grit is the heaviest material in the waste water and includes the substances such as sand coffee ground gravel cinders crockery pieces glass pieces egg shell etc whose specific gravity is in between 2.4 to 2.65 which is much higher than the organic solid the grit is actually the known petrishable and possesses a higher hydraulic subsidence value than the organic solid therefore can be separated from the organic solid by a differential sedimentation in the grit chamber and a sedimentation tank so another parameter is the grit is a non petrishable it is a non organic matter so it will not decompose easily and it is separated by the physical separation as it is heavier than the water in which it is present so very readily and easily it can be removed it can be settled at the bottom and it can be removed from the waste water grit chamber is an enlarged chamber or a long basin in which cross in which cross section is increased so as to reduce the flow velocity of the sewage so that the heavy inorganic solid do get settled down by the gravity so the intention in the grit chamber is here it is a enlarged channel or the long basin due to the enlarged channel and long basin the re velocity get reduced and as the velocity reduces the organic matter uh, in organic solids which are heavier than the water start settling um, by the action of the gravity grit removal is necessary to protect the moving mechanical equipment and pump element from the abrasion if suppose the grit are present in the waste water and such waste water is transferred directly to the primary treatment plant definitely it will cause the abrasion uh, um, of the mechanical equipment and pump, uh, pump element and it will cause abnormal wear and tear removal of grit also reduces the frequency of cleaning of digester and tank settling so uh, eventually to some extent we are reducing the volume and we are uh, reducing the volume on the other treatment units also objective of grit chamber to protect the pump and other equipment to avoid overloading on the further treatments to reduce the frequency of cleaning of sludge digester and settling tank to reduce the clogging of sludge pipe and grit grit chamber is usually installed before primary sedimentation tank there are basically three different types of set grit chambers first one is horizontal flow type second aerated grit chamber and third is vortex type so let us discuss each and every type in detail first type is horizontal flow type grit chamber so as the name suggests here it is a rectangular channel as you can see in the figure where the flow is horizontal and because of the longer uh, uh, chamber 
the velocity gate reduces as the travel time increases the velocity gate reduces and as the velocity reduces the grit or the inorganic material present in the waste water starts settling at the bottom and by this mechanism or the phenomena the grit is settled in the hopper or the grit storage which uh, we can see in this and from where it is disposed of uh, safely. In the horizontal flow type rectangular grid chamber, the waste water flow in the horizontal direction at a certain velocity say 0.3 meter per second. Particle will start to settle at the bottom of the channel before reaching the outlet point. There are normally designed and constructed to remove the particle of 0.2 mm size and more. So the larger side particles are removed in the grid chamber. Once the grid settled to the bottom of the chamber, it can then be removed out from the system using conveyor with the bucket or plows. So this is about the horizontal flow type grid chamber. Now the aerated grid chamber. Aerated grid chamber consists of aeration tank. As the name suggests aerated, so definitely the air is induced or air is supplied in the grid chamber which is designed to create a spiral flow of waste water as it moves through the chamber. So as the air is um, provided, it uh, causes and it creates a spiral flow. The air is introduced along the one side of the rectangular tank to create a spiral flow pattern perpendicular to the flow through the tank. So in this figure, we can see that the air main is provided at the center Hoppers are, we can see at the bottom, at the, uh, at the bottom of the tank, the slope is provided so that the particle will slide, will settle and slide in the hopper. And the aluminium pipe railing is also provided, concrete saddle under each T and halfway between the tier is also provided. So, if the velocity is too great, grit will be carried out of the chamber. If it is too small, the organic material will be removed with the grit. So, normally designed to remove 0.21 mm diameter or larger with 2 to 5 minute detention period at the peak hourly rate of flow. Air diffuser are located about 0.45 to 0.6 meter above the normal plane of the bottom. So, the air is main governing parameter which causes the deposition of the particle. Then vortex type of grid chamber. In this type of grid chamber, the sewage is applied in the tangential direction to induce the vortex type of flow which will funnel the grid towards the center and hence can be drawn down at the bottom of the chamber. So, here if you see, the inlet is provided and outlet is provided. Inlet is provided tangential to the cell cylinder and when the influent is entering into the inlet and will flow tangentially because of the centrifugal force and all, the particle uh, heavier than the water will get attracted towards the center and by that it will get discharged into, into the hopper which, are, which is provided in the center and get discharged. An agitator is used to keep the grit in the suspension. Due to vortex type of flow, the grit which has a heavier specific gravity of 2.4 to 2.65 settles down, which is later drained onto a grit filter bed by gravity or pump to the bed. This unit is widely used when where the sludge flow rate is very widely. Then design of grid chamber. Let us discuss how the grid chamber is designed, what are the different parameters that need to be considered during the design of grid chamber. Settling velocity. As we know the grid uh, settling or the settling of the grid in the grid chamber is entirely depend upon the velocity. As the velocity increases, the deposition or settling increases and as the velocity de uh, decrease increases, there will not be a deposition or the grit will be carried with the flow. So we have to very judiciously find out the velocity. 
grid chamber may be designed on the rational basis by considering its sedimentation as a sedimentation basin having discrete settling so in this but in this grid chamber we are assuming that the sedimentation is uh, is of discrete settling type velocity is governed by the size and specific gravity of grid particle minimum size of the grid to be removed is 0.2 mm the settling velocity is given by stokes law applicable for the particle size of 0.1 mm so according to the stokes law it is vs is equal to g divided by 18 in bracket rho s minus rho divided by mu bracket complete d square after rearranging it the vs is equal to g divided by 18 ss minus 1 divided by v bracket close d square where vs is the settling velocity in centimeter per second d is the size of the particle in centimeter mu is the dynamic viscosity of the liquid in centipede poise whereas uh, v is the mu divided by rho so kinematic viscosity that is centi stoke rho s is the min, uh, mass density of the liquid measured in the gram per centimeter cube rho is the mass density of the particle measured in the gram per meter, centimeter cube whereas ss is rho s minus rho uh, divided by rho is equal to specific gravity of the particle and uh, g is the acceleration due to gravity if suppose the particle is larger than 1 mm the flow will be turbulent and the velocity is given by the newton's law so here the formula will become vs is equal to under square root 3.33 g in bracket rho s minus rho divided by rho bracket close d however grid particle lies between 0.1 to 1 mm therefore velocity is given by hazen's modified formula so according to the hazen's modified formula the vs is will be written as 60.6 in bracket ss minus 1 bracket close d in bracket 3t plus 70 divided by 100 bracket close the flow velocity should be enough to score out the settled organic matter and reintroduce into it into the stream the critical velocity of the score may be calculated by the modified shields formula according to the it the vc which denotes the critical velocity is written as 3 to 4.5 means either 3 or 4.5 in between this range you can select any uh, constant in bracket g bracket ss minus 1 into d for the grid size 0.2 mm the vc will be 17.1 to 25.6 meter per second the other design parameter that should be considered in the design of grid chamber are detention period it may be vary from 45 to 90 second but 60 second are usually adopted and it is calculated by the formula water depth by settling velocity number of units at least two units should be provided free board 150 to 300 mm is provided loss of head is allowed that is 0.06 to 0.6 meter and the horizontal uh, velocity should be maintained between the 15 to 30 cm per second after carrying out uh, after cleaning the grit from the waste water the clearing is grit is another important parameter grit can be removed manually or the mechanically however manual cle uh, clearing should be avoided except in case of very small stp stp stand for sewage treatment plant less than capacity 1 mld where velocity control channel can be cleared by the operator using shovel so in case of small stp having capacity less than 1 mld the manual clearing or the cleaning is adopted which is usually carried out by the shovel in the mechanical clearing equipment are provided for collection as well as washing of the grit mostly by agitation mechanism and can be operated on either a continuous or intermittent basis a settled grit on the floor is collected by scraper blade or plows 
and elevated to the ground level by various mechanism such as bucket elevator jet jet pumps screws and air lift in intermittently normally to once or twice a day operated type sufficient storage capacity to hold the grid between interval of grid elevation should be provided after clearing the grid its safe disposal is another important parameter or the aspect so according to that the clean grid is odorless and may be disposed by dumping or burying or by sanitary landfill so you can dispose it just by dumping or by burying into the soil or on the sanitary landfill if not washed grid particle may contain organic matter which add odor and is not suitable for disposal so grid particle also contains certain amount of organic matter if it is not get clean if the grid is not cleaned before disposal then it will leads to the odor as there will be the decomposition of the organic matter and then in that case it will not be a suitable for the disposal so before disposal the grid should be cleaned or washed for the organic matter however the ultimate method of disposal depends on the quantity and the other characteristics of the particle and further on the availability of the land for dumping or the burial the odorous grid particle are preferably buried unless it will cause a nuisance in the environment in this video we have discussed about the grid chamber different types or the design of uh, design of grid chamber then design parameters of the grid chamber clearing of grid and the disposal of grid the numerical based on this grid chamber are available in the pdf 2.5 so download and watch it thank you